my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So today we're actually going to be sharing the beauty side of my channel. I'm super excited y'all because I've been collecting skincare and body care products for the past like few months or a few weeks. Girl, I just, I go crazy. I'm like a product junkie. I heard I am Chelsea Janae say that and I'm like, I think sis is talking about me too. I am a product junkie. I love products specifically body care and skincare. So we gonna get into it, girl. I've been sharing a lot of products in my vlogs with you all, but never really went into the details of why I like them and how I'm liking them. So today, that's what we are doing. I'm not gonna hold y'all long in the intro, but I do have to remind y'all, before you leave, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to your girl's channel. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I guess I'll go ahead and just pick one on the table because I have quite a few of them laid out right here. The first one I'll start with is actually probably an unsuspecting one, and it's this product right here. This is basically the All Over Body Balm by Vaseline. It's fragrance-free. I think they also have it in a cocoa butter scent, but I got this because I saw I am Chelsea Janae mentioned that the girls on TikTok are talking about how this product is great for amplifying your perfumes. Um, I got it from Target. It was very affordable. I want to say like $5 or something like that. And all I do is put it on my pulse point. So I'll put it on my wrist and I put it on my neck. Now, um, transparency, girl. I don't necessarily notice a difference in my perfume. Like, I'm so bad because I don't even pay attention to my perfume whether it's lasting throughout the day or not. However, I did hear that putting Vaseline, and this is from someone who wears perfume, she's like a perfume connoisseur. I did hear that putting Vaseline or some kind of oil-based product underneath your perfume, like between your skin and the perfume will definitely make it last longer. So I like this product because it is a stick. It looks like, let me see if I could make it focus. So it looks like a, um, what do you call them things? <laughs> Girl, I can't even think. It looks like, oh, deodorant. So it looks like a deodorant stick. I'm trying to cover up my face so that it can focus. But it looks like a deodorant stick, as you all can hopefully see. Um, and you just rub it in. It's really, really simple to rub in. It's not messy. I love that because y'all who use Vaseline know Vaseline is messy. You don't only have to use it with your perfume. It's actually a good thing to carry with you or a good product to carry with you if you just want to, um, if you ashy or something, you can put it in the cracks of your fingers or whatever the case may be. It's just a good, convenient product to keep with you. So since I started off with body care, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the body care category. The next one I'm gonna share with you all is this one here, and this is a Sephora brand body product, and it is the All Day Hydrator. Now, girl, if you watch my Sephora collection haul, I mean, if you watch my Sephora haul video, you know how much I was talking about this product. I was kind of comparing it to the Fenty body oil, butter, whatever it's called, that stuff <laughs> that I always talk about in my vlogs. Now, it's not exactly um, the same consistency as the Fenty. However, in my opinion, it's comparable. It's not as oily. It's more of a hydrating, for me, it's more of a hydrator than a moisturizer, but it does still keep the skin moisturized. But let's just go ahead and get into the consistency. Um, look at that girl. You see this consistency? It is really, really soft. It's really, really hydrating, like I said. I love applying this product after my showers, and you don't even really need to add anything else to it. It feels watery, but it doesn't feel cheap. Like, it actually is a nice, body butter like even right now i feel the shea butter as i'm rubbing it into my skin it's just so smoothing but i will actually leave the links to all the items as well in the description box so if you're interested in anything check below okay the next body hair product that i'm going to share is actually a body butter it's from a brand called sabi s-a-b-i it is black owned and I actually won this body butter in a contest during the christmas season so it came with a set of three but I'm just gonna be showing you all one of them because you've seen one, you've seen them all. The scent that I got is called Fura, and I don't really know how to describe the scent. It smells really, really nice. It's like a earthy kind of smell, but it's not really about the scent. For me, it's about the consistency of this product. So girl, I have to show you all, and I really hope that it comes through on the camera. This product, let me see if it will focus. Okay, so this product is so soft. So, so soft. Now, I'm somebody who wears body butters a lot. 
I always wear body butters and I can tell a quality body butter from one that's not so good quality. This right here is good quality. It's soft, it melts literally like butter. It Can y'all see the shine of your girl's hands? Like, can y'all get into it? It melts in your hands. This right here is something that I'm going to re-up on. I want it during Christmas time and I'm actually going to purchase it once I run out. This is one of the best body butters I've ever tried. Like, <laughs> It melts in your hand like butter, sis. Like what more can you ask for in a body butter? Okay, next body care item is going to be this here. It is a body oil, but it is called a body serum. Um, it is from a brand called Be Established. It's another black owned brand. Let's get into the bottle. Like that's the first thing that drew me to it. It's literally the look. Like it's super cute, it's super aesthetic. Girl, when I tell you, when you apply this right after the shower, it literally absorbs the water. I mean, it absorbs it so well. I'm one who loves putting on oil right after the shower. This is the best one I've ever tried. You don't really need to dry off when you put this on. It locks in that moisture into your skin. Actually, yesterday, to be honest, yesterday, I put this on and I didn't end up um, lotioning and putting on my body butter like I usually do after, and I didn't get ashy. I did not get ashy, but it's a very, very lightweight oil. I love that it doesn't leave the skin feeling greasy. It's just the perfect level of moisturization that you need for your skin. I feel like I'm going kind of out of order. I feel like I should have started off with this product because this is the first thing you do. It's shower. So this is actually a um, body wash. Is it okay? A body cleanser. It's by the brand Way and it's in the scent Melrose Place. I bought this on the last day of the Sephora sale. I had watched Tessa Stewart's Sephora VIB haul and she was talking about this and the way sis talked about it, I knew I needed to try it. Like she influenced me to get it. It not only smells amazing, it lathers beautifully and my skin just feels so soft and delicate after using it. I also love the scalp and body scrub by Way. I ordered that too. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me right now. However, that is another product that I highly recommend. When you combine this with the hair and body scrub, I'll leave it on the screen, it is the perfect spa experience, girl. If you had a long day at work, you had a stressful week, it's the weekend, you take you a nice hot shower and then put the body scrub on and it lathers, girl. <laughs> I don't need to say anymore, just give it a try and let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go in order. We're on to the skincare, like the facial skincare items. So I'm gonna try to go in some kind of order here. I guess I'll start off with this here. These are the Sephora Glow Peel Pads. They're glycolic acid peel pads. This is another Sephora VIB sale item that I purchased and I'm so happy with because they were so affordable, girl, 30% off. So basically, they're little pads that you peel out, it comes with a count of 60. So these are good for removing the dead skin that's kind of like on the outer layer of the face. And I personally just love that it seems to get any additional dirt off of my skin. Like it seems to do well with removing additional dirt. And also, I'm gonna try to give you all an update as the time goes by or as the months go by and I use it more consistently. Just to let you all know if my skin actually looks different or feels different. You can use it both during the day and during the night. I actually use this one during the day and I'm gonna show you all what I use at night. So this is the one that I actually use at night and it is the Ordinary Brands Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This one is actually recommended to only use once a day and it says it's ideal for PM use. So that's why I use this one during the nighttime routine and the other one during my daytime routine. This is a toning solution. It actually works as an exfoliator as well. It's supposed to help with dullness. It's supposed to help brighten the skin as well, which is something that I'm working on. So this is another product that I'm gonna have to give you all an update on, girl. I trust that it's gonna work well. <laughs> I haven't had any bad experiences with it and I just love using it. I love using skincare products that my skin seems to like gravitate towards and it doesn't have like a negative reaction to it. So I'll definitely keep you all updated on this. I just love the ordinary products because they're affordable. Very, very affordable, girl, okay? I love anything that's not gonna be harsh on my pocket, but it's still gonna work on my skin. 
Oh my goodness, y'all, my battery just died. But the next product is this one here. It's the AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution. Um, it is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. Girl, you only wanna leave it on for 10 minutes, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen if you don't, but don't even test it, just follow the instructions, okay? I was really, really scared, to be honest, to use this for the longest time because I thought my skin was gonna like burn or something. <laughs> But I've used it twice and to be honest, after using it, I felt a difference in my skin, like the actual texture of it. I honestly felt a difference in it. So like I said, it is an exfoliating solution. It helps fight blemishes, it improves the skin's radiance and texture as well. It also helps with acne and like dark marks. That's the main reason why I wanted to try it because I kind of wanted to get something that's going to help with like the dark marks, the unevenness of my skin. But I am so excited to continue using this product. I'm excited to see what it does for my skin. I'm really excited to see how it does on like my dark marks and things like that. And speaking of dark marks, I'm actually gonna show you all the next product that is also something that I'm trying out um, to help with my dark marks. So the next product I'm trying out, girl, for the dark marks is this Gleaming Vitamin C Clay Mask. Let me just show you all what it looks like. It is a um, mask. So it's one of those masks that you apply. It would be hard to get off. <laughs> it was hard to get off because I had this um, body butter on my finger, so it was slippery. But this is what it looks like. So it's a yellow mask. It has turmeric in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this actually can stain as well, girls, so be careful with that. But it has vitamin C, and those of us who are familiar with vitamin C, we know that it's great for brightening the skin. It has a distinct smell to it. It's not bad, but it has a really interesting smell to it. But it comes with this really cute little brush <laughs> that you can use, to, and it says gleaming on it. Super cute, super cute. But you use this to kind of paint it on your face. I used this yesterday. I just kind of put it on the parts that have dark marks and then I used it the day before yesterday as well. But I just need to be a little more consistent because they recommend to use it two to three times. Yeah, two to three times per week for best results. So I definitely need to stay consistent. This item is a little on the pricey side. I believe it's about $40. I buy mine off of Amazon, but for me, it's worth the investment. My skin is worth the investment because I'm trying to be out in the summer with no makeup on. I, I don't want to be having to wear makeup. I don't want to have to be covering up dark marks and things. So I'm going to try to be consistent and see how this does my skin by the summertime. And again, I'll keep y'all posted on how my skin reacts to this mask. Okay, I did go a little out of order but it's because I was talking about dark marks. So we're actually gonna backtrack in the skincare routine and we're gonna talk about a serum. This is another The Ordinary product. So this is their Hyaluronic Acid 2% B5 Hydration Serum. This works great, okay? I have dry skin, sis, okay? Dry skin. So I really, really, really love this product and my face really loves it too. When I put it on, it, it kind of has like a stickiness, like not a bad sticky, but you know how like when you go to the south or you go to a humid environment and your skin just, it's like glowing from the humidity. That's what this reminds me of. My skin, it glows. Once I put this on after my toner, my skin is glowing. It feels nice and, and just plump. It feels moisturized. Girl, look, clearly I love it. Can y'all see? Like, can you all see how much I've used in this product? It's like right here, okay? I've used about half of it already and I've only had this for a few weeks. So I'm definitely gonna have to be re-upping on this very soon. This is my favorite ordinary product. I'm gonna be using this all the time, okay? All the time. Up next is a skin moisturizing. It's called Ultra Facial and it's by the brand Kiehl's. Now I actually received this for free in a PR package. I love this skincare. Like, I love it. It's expensive, girl. This little tiny um, size right here. I don't know if it's $30, but I feel like it's like $30. Like, I was shocked. I wanted to re-up on it during the VIB sale, but when I saw the price, I was like, <laughs> we can wait. But I still love it. So this is what it looks like. I see what the consistency is. It's extremely moisturizing and extremely hydrating. It's actually a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial lipoprotein. I don't know about all that, but I do know it's extremely hydrating. It's extremely moisturizing. I actually use this at night. I love using this at night in my night 
um, skincare routine, it literally keeps my face moisturized all night long. Like, <laughs> this works so good. And again, coming from someone who has dry skin, trust and believe, girl, you can trust and believe me. <laughs> it works so, so good. Okay, the next product that I'm sharing is this product here. So for those of you who watch my vlogs, I know y'all been waiting. I'm like, girl, when are you gonna tell us about them pixie eye patches? I had shared this in a vlog before, and it's the Pixie Beautify Brightening Eye Patches. This is, I don't know if y'all can really see it, but these are my go-to, okay? I was never the girl who wore eye patches, ever. I am Chelsea Janae, introduced me <laughs> in one of her vlogs. She introduced me to this. And I've already bought a re-up and I'm not even like halfway through these. So it comes with 60 eye patches, but there's 30 pairs. So it's obviously one per eye. So it has this little spatula kind of thing. Um, and you just scoop the eye patches out and apply them underneath the eye. They are brightening eye patches. Now I haven't noticed if my eyes have gotten brighter because I do not use it consistently. That's my only flaw, girl, when it comes to skincare is that I don't use the products consistently. I can't really speak on whether or not they brighten my eyes, but I do know the serum, the way it moisturizes under my eye, I really like. I'm someone who gets those lines um, under the eye and then when I put on my makeup, it just looks really, really weird. So I'm trying my best to find things that's going to really moisturize under my eye and this does. All right, sis, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video just as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did, remember, girl, you can let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to be a part of the Fashion Air family, all you have to do is click that subscribe button and you are a part of the family. Lastly, I hope you all are enjoying your day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and as usual, stay stylish. Bye, y'all. <laughs>